All right, welcome back everyone. So it occurred to me today that I've had my Trail 125 now for just about two months and yet I'm still well within the break-in period. I only have 257 miles on it. I've just been using it to get back and forth to my office and to the coffee shop and haven't really been taking it out on any of its own adventures. What I thought I would do today is come back to my stomping grounds here and more specifically my uh, single track that I very slightly teased uh, a few weeks ago and maybe try and actually take a more earnest stab at some of it. Here we go. Looks like someone's been out on this trail. There's definitely some motorbike uh, tracks. You know, I just feel like I never really gave this trail an honest effort. Oh boy, all right. It looks like it's gonna get real here. All right. It's a little bouncy. Suspension seems to be holding up all right. All right, looks like we've got some legitimate trail here. <laughs> no joking around. Oof. <laughs> Man, this is legit. <sighs> All right, still on the stock tires, I might add. All right. Let's get up this, because this looks kind of rough. All right. So we're over here. <laughs> We've started up this particular section of the trail here, and we've made it not very far. Oh my goodness, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, on this stretch. It looks like a mile and a half this stretch is So if we're gonna go for it, that's pretty committed So far the ground clearance hasn't been an issue Something I have noticed about riding off-road on stuff like this is uh, The anti-lock brakes can be a bit problematic Every once in a while, the front brake kicks in and it's, uh, it just stops working. And that's a little bit troublesome. A little bit uh, nerve wracking, we'll say. <laughs> We've hit a couple of tricky spots, but nothing horrendous. It's not easy. It is a lot of rocks. If I was on the Himalayan, I'd probably have already dropped it by now. All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow, we've definitely come far. Look at all that. This is so much nicer. It's just like putting along the pine needles. Mm. Oh, that was a bit rough. I'm gonna have to give it some gas on this. All right. Whew. Yep. A little bit of a steep gradient here. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Oof. Come on, baby. Ha 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 ha. I almost didn't get up that. I know that to all you guys watching, this is probably incredibly boring, but it's pretty thrilling actually uh, getting through this kind of stuff. All right, we've got a little bit of a 
mess right there. Oof. A little bit more of a mess in here too. Just try to walk it through here. Okay, so far so good. Now this could be interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, indeed. Almost didn't get it up that. We are getting into some chunks. <laughs> Definitely getting into some chunks. Whew. All right, let's take this little step here, easy. I'm gonna stand off the bike again and let it roll, there we go. Uh-oh, <laughs> obstacle avoidance. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is legit. Uh-oh. This might be a problem. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty steep. We will end up having uh, done about almost two miles on this trail. And I think, you know, I think it's something like 30 miles total. So it'll take a lot of sections to, to get through it all. And uh, it may not all be doable on the trail. I'm certainly gonna try though, I think. I think, we'll see how we feel. We'll see if we can make it through this unscathed. Oh, this is pleasant, going through the pine trees here. <laughs> Coming out on the main road. This is what I don't know as far as what I'm gonna be allowed on. Because the motorized trail looks like it crosses it's really short, I'm just gonna zip back on it. So I don't actually think I'm supposed to be on this trail or this road on the bike. Um, I think this might be a no motorized vehicles. I just saw a sign back there. And uh, if that's actually true, then I think I might be breaking some rules here and I do feel pretty terrible about that. Um, so I'm just gonna, it looks like we're gonna pop out just right up here and then I'm just gonna get off of it as soon as I can and uh, hopefully just leave no trace and no harm done. But yeah, that's my bad. I should have been a little bit more um, aware of the signage. We made it successfully. Uh, I did almost get trapped behind that um, barrier back there because it was definitely not for motorized vehicles. All right, and we're back to where we started. This was where I first got on the trail. I'm gonna zip down this road for a little bit. So again, um, one of the nice things about all the monsoon rains is you know, a road like this, you can see is pretty sandy. I'm gonna stop for a second so you guys can see, but you know, this is just all sand. And with all the moisture we've been getting, um, it's quite well packed, saturated. So it's, it's nice to ride on. There's still a few loose patches for sure, but uh, I would, this would be just a mess uh, a month ago. So here's the trail that I just did. Um, I just completed that section right there. What a fun road to take the Trail 125 down. I mean, look at all this grass growing in the, even in the middle of the road here. It's just awesome. Super, super awesome. Man, I love this. I absolutely love this. All right, look at this field, this meadow of green. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful.
I'm gonna see if I can get back out on the main road over here. This might be my way out. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Maybe, 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 maybe. I just don't know. It's not looking super promising, that's for sure. I might be somehow now stuck. Private property. Yes. Interesting. Right, this is what we need to do. I'm pretty sure the trail, or a trail, cuts through right there. So I'm just gonna go back and see if I can't find myself a way to get on that trail. I know it crossed very close. Here we go. Here it is. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go down this single track here and hope that it cuts through. I suspect it does. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Sneaky. Sneaky indeed. What is happening here? <laughs> if riding over these rocks is difficult, turn around. Well, how about that? They give you a little warning. That's pretty funny. All right, I think I am good to go home. I've pushed my luck enough. Crashed the drone once. I like dodging all the puddles, it's fun. All right, let's see. Got some big puddles to dodge here. So there is something that I haven't really talked about all that much since picking up the Trail 125 that I think is really, really worth noting here uh, because it's frankly surprised me quite a bit. And that is the fuel economy. Like obviously I knew that I was gonna get really good gas mileage on this bike because it is so small and because I've been riding it very gently because I'm in the braking period. But <clears throat> just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, when I picked this bike up, it had a full tank of gas and one mile on the odometer, okay? It was brand new. I rode it uh, for about 110 miles and I had still had about a third of a tank of gas left. And I, I had sort of calculated that back of the envelope that it, this bike probably gets about 150 miles on a tank of gas. I've been to the gas station once and I have 264 miles on the bike and still three clicks of fuel on the fuel gauge. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but like essentially I still have a half a tank, right? Three clicks out of six. <laughs> so there's a good chance I still have like 70 miles on the bike till empty, which would put me at, well, 300, right? 320. I'm gonna see if I can skid out the back tire a little bit too. All right, so lean, gas. Nice! <laughs> How about that? Not too shabby there, John. I'll take it. All right, guys. We are back at the road. One piece, no drops success we got some spin outs we did some two miles a single track we uh had a successful day so i think i'm gonna just count my blessings here and uh make the four miles back home and smile and nod <laughs> and be ready for the next adventure Great success.